The politically correct police. I don't know if you go to an academy for that or you just appoint yourself. I'm not sure how it works, but they're everywhere and they're spreading and they're arriving on a search engine near you, right? Well, it's kind of a a Tech Tuesday today because there's so much news uh, about tech, whether it's uh, Elon Musk Mm -hmm. taking over Twitter or what's happening at Google. They have now launched an inclusive language function. It is designed to avoid the use of politically incorrect words. So, like, say, for example... Are you going to give us a politically incorrect word on the radio? uh, Are you not ready for the PC police to swoop down on you? Well, this has been filtered. (laughs) Okay. Okay. So, (laughs) users typing landlord would see a warning that it may not be inclusive to all readers with the suggestion that they should try proprietor or property owner. What? Oh, wait. Oh, wait. It gets better. The word humankind is a suggested alternative to what the online giant apparently sees as the controversial term mankind. Pe- okay. I was going to say people, but mankind, of course, because it says man at the beginning. I get it. Gender specific terms oh. policeman, housewife, <clears throat> police officers, stay at home spouse. Unbelievable. Yeah. This isn't, we, we, have, we have lost our collective minds. Well, you can't say what things are. So President Kennedy's inaugural address should have said for all humankind instead of for all mankind. They say that uh, many computer document systems are using methods to correct spelling and grammar. Why should they not just nudge people more toward a more woke language? A lot of people think it is a step too far. I think it could get completely out of hand, don't you? I think that uh, we're just moments away from that. Are you concerned that you are not woke enough? Uh, no. Well, Google has your entire search history, and we think otherwise. So we're introducing Woke Google, where all your search results are politically correct. I Googled the score of the Braves game, and it told me I should care more about the U.S. women's soccer team. Woke Google knows your searches are centered on your inherent biases. I was looking for quesadilla recipes, and Google made me read up on the evils of cultural appropriation. With Woke Google, your eyes will be wide open. I tried to check my flight status, but ended up checking my privilege instead. And Woke Google isn't just a search engine. We're alerting you to trigger warnings in Google Docs. And even Google Maps is fighting social injustice. I tried getting driving directions to Florida, and it told me no. Woke Google... (laughs) Because we're big tech, and we know best. 